my vision is of spiritual startups, Buddhist startups. We need Buddhist startups. If you want to tweet something, let's tweet that. Because, <laughs> like, uh, Buddhist startups, but with the proviso that the incumbent power and depth of Dharma understanding is part of the team. Because, um, like I'm saying, like I'm saying, because we will see there's a market opportunity in mindfulness, and people will take advantage of that. Um, so let's play. Because if we don't play, it'll be rubbish. And we will, our industry will collapse, that's it. So how do we get there? Um, uh, investment, we need money. Um, uh, we need, uh, so um, I see, so I've worked a lot in what's called social enterprise in England, social innovation. And what we've seen, and it, there's a great scene here in the US as well, the UK is probably the strongest in Europe, um, of, so social enterprise being uh, organizations, businesses, which, whose primary output, primary goal is social value, but they're also um, commercial, so they have a twin. Um, but social value is number one. Here, we're talking about a evolution of that idea of social enterprise into spiritual enterprise or dharma enterprise, where, again, the primary value should be uh, spiritual value. Um, but we're talking about sustainable and not free, so let's make them robust enterprises and to do that requires all the infrastructure that creates great startups. So we need to, as a community, work out, let's stop uh, building new buildings and take a bit of that money into uh, an investment fund, which does R&D. Um, this is what we need. Um, we need uh, research and development of what the next wave of uh, Buddhist innovation looks like. And the people in the room here are the people I want to be working with to do that. And so we need to have better conversations of, actually, like, this is a nice idea, but um, where, where is the, um, like, we need to sort of, there's a, uh, there's a need to just more structures. Because this stuff doesn't happen by accident. Great products do not happen by accident. Um, you can, like, you can, buy, you can buy all the sort of garage, myth, garage myths of Google and Apple, and Facebook all started with an idea like back and it sort of did, but, all, but behind that is like venture capital, structure, boot camps, like all that stuff. Um, we need that. Um, and most importantly, we need making. Um, I'm really passionate about this. Uh, I just think we need to like, we need to just make stuff quickly and test it out and it'll be rubbish in the first generation um, in the way that new teachers are rubbish in their first couple of years. Um, <laughs> But they're brilliant in year five. Um, so we need to uh, make stuff, make stuff, rapid prototyping. These are all very, very tested models from enterprise. It's not news to a lot of people in the room. Um, and this is not a plug, but this is something that I'm making because I, um, I, uh, I'm, I, got, I, I was on retreat this new year. And around January the 2nd, I said, I thought, I've been thinking about this idea about mobile meditation for a while. And if someone else does it, doesn't, if I don't do it, someone else will do it, and it'll be less good than the one that I do. So I just, I just made, the, I made the commitment, I'm not going to go and retreat this year, I'm going to make a mobile app. Um, and it will be, you, you might love it, you might hate it. Um, and, uh, but I just think it's, it's an, it's a, it, well, the, the message is not that, you can go to Buddhify.com to find out about it, it, it launches it this, this autumn or fall. Um, and, uh, but the main thing is that I'm making something and I would really encourage, my invitation to the room is let's make stuff because we've got the expertise, we have, um, we've got the networks, um, we just need to corral, corral that a bit. And so Buddhify Budif is just like one bit of the, like, it's just what, Buddhify does not promise the real deal. Buddhify is mindfulness with extra cheese and all this other extra stuff. Um, it's very simple guided meditations, but it's got some clever cleverness built built into it, which I won't bore you with because it's not a pitch. But um, the uh, we need a whole family of these things. Um, Buddhify is one. There's a bunch of other things coming up, but we need them uh, supported, directional, which is important. A flock of birds is directional. Um, that feels really important, and it's flexible. Um, so I'm working on one bit of it. I'd really invite um, everyone else to start working on the rest. Um, thank you.